Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ope and today's video is a manga haul, a very, very large manga haul. I've wanted to film manga hauls for the past couple of months, but my plans to do so always got thwarted. But luckily enough, this one worked out and it's one that I actually wanted to put up here because my manga collection has grown quite a bit since the last manga haul I did. And just a disclaimer before I get into the haul, a lot of what I buy I would say about 75 to 80 percent of it are stuff that i'm already very familiar with they're not necessarily new or new to me a lot of very old manga because i've read manga for a very very long time every once in a while i'll buy new stuff that's new to me or that's currently ongoing either to try it or because i'm already familiar with it and i want to collect it but that does not make up the bulk of my collection if you're a viewer who's here mostly to discover a new manga i might not be this might not be the manga haul for you so i'm just putting that out there but for a new manga i usually just try like the first three volumes see how i'm liking it and see if i want to keep collecting it i still try to read as much as possible online so i'm not buying stuff i'm not actually interested in although i have to admit that um online reading has become somewhat of a subpar experience ever since i started collecting physical volumes but yeah i bought a lot of things in october i'm starting to mix the months together but yes this were all manga that i bought in october because of the final right stuff sale due to their merger with crunchyroll i placed the first order which is the tiny little cube box and then i was just going on with my life when i suddenly woke up in the middle of the night one day after i placed the first one just thinking to myself like dang that's a really good sale that they have going on are you really not going to buy more stuff and that led to my second order which is the large one that took a month to ship and has been split into two boxes i sat with that one for about 12 hours when i thought about it and decided you know what I can squeeze some more money out of my budget this month you can place one more order so i did place one more order and then the last box is from the barnes and noble bogo 50 percent off sale i don't know what was going on but there were just a lot of manga sales going on in october i don't remember the exact number of volumes that i have in the overall haul but i will put a count on the screen as i go through them and that's enough background info let's get right into the haul starting with the already open box so the reason that box is open is because it contained volumes four through nine of my love mix up which i am currently reading and is on my tbr shelf that is the reason why i opened the box i already own the first three volumes and i thought well these are pretty discounted prices i might as well go ahead and complete this series it's a short one i don't know when next i'm going to see prices like this so i went ahead to buy it I'm actually reading this right now and I love it very, very, very much. And I hate to be the kind of person to prematurely recommend something, but I am enjoying it so much that even though I'm just on volume four, I will rate it five stars. I have rated every volume I've read so far five stars. It's been a great experience. The story is hilarious, but also emotionally gripping with very lovable characters that I already feel extremely attached to. They're very well written. And if you're just looking for like a fresh, new shoujo manga to read with a shonen, shonen eye storyline, this is a really, really good one for you. So I have volumes four through nine right here, and they're currently on my mini TBR shelf on uh, my desk because that's where I keep stuff that I'm currently reading. But yeah, my love mix up. The other things I have in that order are volumes one and two of Kimi ni Toroke. No longer heroine, I have the first volume of that one, which is the only new manga to me in this entire box, as well as a one-shot yaoi manga, Sick. Kimi ni Toroke, I'll start with those two. I have volumes one and two of Kimi ni Toroke. And if you're familiar with the anime manga scene, this is Peak Shoujo that came out very, very long ago that everyone is very familiar with. I was really, really excited when the announcement for the return of the anime was announced. So I decided that now was a good time to start collecting the manga. So I bought the first two volumes. And for No Longer Heroine, let's see. This is a new one to me. I've never heard about it, but I've seen it going around a lot on social media with manga collectors and I wanted to try it. Thinking about it, I don't know if this is something that I would have bought if I just saw it by myself and it wasn't going around as much because the storyline is very, very, very dramatic. And although I used to read a lot of 
um, manga like this when I was growing up. I stay away from them now because I do not want my plot to be so confusing that I need a chart to draw the interactions or the relationship between all of the characters to understand what's going on, which is pretty much what this manga is, the vibe this manga is giving me. Because if you look up the description on Wikipedia, it just keeps going from one character to the other. I'm like, what is going on? This is so messy. But I'm going to give the first volume a try. Good thing I only bought the first volume. If I like it, I'm just gonna nip that in the bud and stop collecting it. The last manga in that box is a one-shot yaoi, like I said, called Sick. I'm already very familiar with this one. I read it when it came out. I can't remember when it came out, but I read it when it came out and I was just really excited to see a physical English volume. So I decided to pick it up, but yeah, that's sick. Moving on to the second box, AKA the box that took a month to ship, but it's still missing one volume. Yes, I'm going to be very petty over that one volume. Most of this order was me trying to buy as many volumes of Nana and Kimi Toyoki that they had in stock to build my collection of boat series. And I did buy all the volumes they had in stock for a boat series. The one volume that is missing in the order is volume six of Nana. It was in stock when I placed my order, but I'm guessing that by the time they shipped it, it was no longer in stock. So that one is probably going to get delivered sometime when it comes back in stock. I am so excited for this order because these are two titles on my wish list that I was hoping to really finish collecting, hopefully by the end of next year. But I'll start with Kimini Toroke since I already started talking about it earlier. And I've already gone through both boxes and tried to organize the um, both series because they were kind of scattered randomly into both boxes. I have, I believe it was 15 volumes of Kimini Toroke in this order, in addition to the other two that I had in the last order. So a total of 17 of the total 30 in the series. This uh, order has volumes 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16. 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 27. I definitely made a mistake there in how I ordered them, but let's just pretend that didn't happen. I actually finished watching the anime for Kimi Toroke recently, and I think part of me forgot how much I loved this series, but I did. The last couple of episodes were definitely given like, I want to pull my hair out. Can the both of you just get together already? And I used to read the manga long ago when I finished watching the anime before. I probably stopped around like volume 23 to 24 back in like 2015 or something. So I'm going to just try to read the manga from where the anime stops or just wait for the, <laughs> the renewal of the anime to come out next year. I'll see about that, but I would like to read the entire thing again. Moving on to Nana. So same thing. I already have the first volume of Nana somewhere on my shelf and I have, how many volumes was it here? 5, 10, 13, so 14 in total, 14 of the 21 volumes that have been released so far. I want to say it's an ongoing series, but it's more of a permanent hiatus because we don't know if Aiyazawa is ever going to finish the series. Honestly, I've given up hope, given up hope of that ever happening, but in this order I have volumes 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 19, and 21. I did a better job for this for organizing uh, this one. So 14 of the 21 volumes, I am two thirds of the way done with collecting Nana. The next section of items that I had in that box are volumes two and three of Love Sick Ellie, volumes two and three of I Cannot Reach You, the newest volume of Sasaki and Miyano, and volume two of Thanks. I read Love Sick Ellie, I think it was in September, the first volume. I enjoyed it more than I was expecting to, so I decided to get the next two volumes, see if I am continuing to enjoy the series, and if I like this, I am going to collect the remaining nine volumes in the series. This is a pretty short one too, it's complete in only 12 volumes if I'm remembering correctly. I love, love, love how they've used such bright colors and different colors for the um, the covers of Love Sick Ellie, but yeah, volumes 2 and 3 of Lovesick Ellie, and then I Cannot Reach You. I also have the first volume of this one somewhere on my shelf. I got it used at a local used bookstore. I am pretty familiar with the series. I've never read it before, though. It looks really, really cute, and I can't wait to get into it. I'm going to stop myself at buying just these three volumes until I'm actually able to read the series, decide if I like it, and keep collecting more of it. I like to limit myself to three volumes if I'm not familiar with the series before I just keep buying randomly only for me to read it later and find out like, oh shit, that was a really bad idea. I definitely don't want that to happen. 
the most recent volume of Sasaki and Miyano, volume 9. Yeah, Sasaki and Miyano. This is another item on my wish list that I just want to collect everything about it. I wish I had wanted to collect all of the merch and absolutely everything that they're selling Miyano and Sasaki wise. Like, I just love this series so much. If you were familiar with my channel, every chance I get to talk about Sasaki and Miyano, I take it. I love them so, so much. So this was a no-brainer for me. And the last one here is Fangs, Volume 2 of Fangs. I also have the first volume, which is why I'm buying the second volume. I love it very, very much. More than I expected it to, it had a little bit different vibe from what, what most people will probably expect from a vampire BL. It talked on me more emotionally than I was expecting, and I really enjoyed that. And I know a lot of people did as well, so can you please release the third volume? We're all waiting. Thank you very much. Moving on to the next item in this box, I'm just going to separate this one by itself because it's not manga, it's a webtoon that I love very, very much. The Remarried Empress. I started reading this on webtoon when it came out. I already have the first three volumes. Mm. For a while there, when I actually got caught up on the uh, chapters on webtoon as well, I started reading the novel and then I lost track of it. So I'm just going to keep following the webtoon as it comes out. But this is a great revenge themed webtoon. If you're not familiar with it, I highly recommend it. I don't want to make this video too long by talking about absolutely everything that I bought, but this is a great webtoon. Try it out. You're going to love it. I'm not really planning to buy a lot of webtoon, but this one was an absolute must. Another one that I love with kind of a revenge theme is the villainous Re reverses the hourglass. And I believe the first volume for that is coming out soon. If it's not already out, I should actually check on that, but I definitely want to collect those two. Uh, omnis omniscient reader's viewpoint. I definitely want to collect that as well and a shit ton of BL webtoons and manhwas. I definitely plan to collect all of those but that is The Remarried Empress and another thing that's really great about this webtoons is that they're full color. Such a great experience just the way the webtoons are usually drawn. So yeah, The Remarried Empress. And the last set of things in this order are <laughs> yaoi one that i'm a little bit familiar with another one that's new to me my summer of you i am familiar with although i haven't read this is technically a one shot although it does have a sequel i don't know enough about the story to actually give a summary of it but i'm excited to read it it's just a one shot so uh i i guess i figured i'm not losing much by just buying the one volume and then the other one here is only the flower knows it's not a one shot, but it's a pretty short series. It's completed in only three volumes. I looked it up on my anime list. So if I like this, I'll just buy the other two volumes and the series will be complete. And that is the end of this second box. Pretty fast again, because most of it was <laughs> Nana and Kimi ni Todoki. Moving on to the third box, I have volumes one through three of Snow White with the Red Hair. This is definitely another shoujo series that I want to collect. It's ongoing, so i am a little bit worried about how long the series is going to be i haven't done a good job of keeping up with the manga but i loved the anime when it came out their relationship is what to me a healthy relationship looks like and i loved it very very much i found volumes 8 through 12 of snow white with the red hair at my local used bookstore so i have them on my shelf somewhere and i decided well i already have those four i might as well just keep adding to the collection as i get the chance to I love the covers for this very, very, very much. I think they're like one of the most beautifully drawn covers in shoujo that I've ever seen. They almost have a Western feel to them. I think I've seen a video that uh, talked about how Snow Eye with the Red Hair is Ghibli inspired. And that will make sense because the colors that are used and just the overall like theme of the story definitely gives off that uh, vibe. It feels very homey and comforting. And I love that about the series. So yeah, Snow White with the red hair. I have volumes one through three of that. The next set of manga here are manga that I'm very familiar with as well that I want to collect. And those are Barakamon and Gekan Shoujo Nozaki Kun. I'll start with Barakamon. I think Barakamon is currently complete with 20 volumes. This is another anime that I loved very, 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 very much. It's Slice of Life. One of the best Slice of Lives that I've ever watched. There are other titles in contention there, but I'll just put that out there. Barakamon is a great series. I already have the first volume, so this is another one that I'm slowly building my collection for, and I plan to collect all 20 volumes of Barakamon. The next one here is Gekan Shoujo Nozaki-kun, 
or just monthly girls nozaki kun another anime that i loved very very funny i think we can categorize this as slice of life although it's more comedy i have the first two volumes this is an ongoing series manga wise um what is different about this is that it's four coma uh four coma manga I, I believe that's what they call it and that just basically means uh, like regular manga panels that are kind of drawn as the art in it requires or <sighs> how shall i describe this <laughs> the box for the art is basically drawn to follow how much space the art requires but for four coma manga they're split into four equal sections across each page and it's just meant to be like a um what's it called crap i can't think of the word <laughs> it's meant to be like a comedy type style i i'm going to put a box that has a description of what fokoma means because i'm doing a terrible job of explaining this but i have volumes one and two of kyakan shoujo no zaki kun if you're having a bad day and you need a really really good laugh like a really really good laugh that will make you forget that you are even sad in the first place i highly recommend that you watch the anime for this it is hilarious and i still go back to it every once in a while when i just need to turn my brain off and laugh like it's the last thing i'm going to do before i die so the last two items in this manga are one that i'm familiar with and then one that's new to me and the first one that i'm familiar with is perfect world i'm familiar with this although i've never read it because when you read manga when you're younger there are even to now like if you go to the back of a lot of manga there are recommendations in the back so i used to see this one a lot when i was growing up but i've just never read it and i think the title or the plot is pretty clear from the front this is a reunion between people who went to high school together and the girl used to have a crush on the guy but by the time she met him when they were grown up i believe they're 26 year years old now the guy had a spinal injury and he now has a disability and has to stay in a wheelchair so i'm kind of interested in reading this although this one has a little bit of a dramatic feel to it as well i don't want to rule things off completely just because they're a little bit dramatic that's not a good reason not to try something so i'm going to try the first volume and see how i like it and then the very last volume in this box is gap papa daddy at work and at home i love this because of how the cover looks and it just feels like something i will enjoy reading because i can it just feels like a very cozy story and i think the plot of this is just meant to be a guy this about this guy that's handsome cool and distant i'm basically reading from the back of the manga at this point but the moment he's back at home the frosty looking salary man shows his true colors as a doting father and husband so i guess that's where the gap papa comes in in the title and one thing i really love about this manga is that it is full color as well i think that's that's not something you see very often so i like that i cannot wait to read this it's absolutely gorgeous and now moving on to the my first nandoroids Yay! i'm so excited about them so i bought three nandoroids i try to control myself and not get into the hobby of collecting androids because i'm one of those people who cannot do something they love in moderation it has to take over my life and for my first set of nandoroids i have chosen some of my favorite comfort characters during the pandemic and this year as well i have miyano from sasaki and miyano i've already talked about how much joy this series brings me and i really didn't want miyachan to be by himself but sasaki's nandoroid was and is still unfortunately sold out hopefully that changes soon and they don't have to be separated for long look at how cute those faces are it's absolutely ridiculous how happy this tiny figure makes me but it does and i'm definitely choosing to pursue the little joys in life these days the other two i bought are nandoroids for nandoroids for hua chong and xie lian from heaven officials blessing two characters that are an absolute serotonin boost to my life any day of the week there are a couple of options for Hua Lian figures and androids, but these were the ones I definitely wanted as starters. They have the removable clothing and their faces are so adorable. Oh my god, I, I cannot stop thinking about how adorable these are. I'm going to be staring at them for a very long time. There are a lot of androids on my wish list that I will likely 
uh, slowly add to my collection but these are the ones I'm starting with I'll do a separate video for their assembly because why not but moving on to the last box and order in this haul which is from the Barnes & Noble Bogo 50% off sale I did not pay any money for this order because I get some benefits from my 9 to 5 job that allow me to get gift cards for Barnes & Noble so it's always really exciting to buy stuff at Barnes & Noble although I still try to make sure that they're uh, stuff is usually on sale to maximize how much I can get from my purchase. So in this box, I have volumes 3, 4, 5, and 7 of Sasaki and Miyano. These are volumes I was missing from the 9 volumes that I currently own, including the ninth one that I showed in this haul earlier. So now I have all 9 volumes of Sasaki and Miyano. I will stop there and not talk about it much more. I've already done enough of that in this video. The next set of manga I have in the box are volumes 1 and 2 of Therapy Game Restart and volumes 1 and 2 of Given. Therapy Game Restart, I already have all the other volumes of manga in this series. I believe it's like Secret XXX and then Therapy Game. I read both series in 2016, 2017 when they came out. Secret XXX is a one shot and then Therapy Game has just the two volumes, although Restart is ongoing. I don't know when the third volume is coming out. I have to look that up, but I really enjoy this series and I wanted to collect everything that there was to it. So yeah, volumes one and two of Therapy Game Restart. And then the next one here is Given. I absolutely loved this anime when it came out. And I actually just finished reading the manga this year after it ended earlier in the year. And I liked it, so I decided that I wanted to collect it. So I thought I might as well go ahead and start with the first two volumes of the series this is so colorful look at that second volume i can hear the ah of mafuyu's song <laughs> from the cover but yeah this was definitely a great experience i cannot wait to finish collecting the rest of the series and then the last two volumes i have in this box are a new series to me and that is volumes one and two of cinderella closet i am not familiar with this series at all because it's new to me but i read the synopsis it looked interesting and i love the covers they're really really beautiful this is usually something i'll have spoiled for myself out of curiosity but i haven't done that this time and i would like to not do that and just go into this completely blind but the description on the first volume says that haruka is a plain jane who left the countryside to start her college life in tokyo she is secretly in love with kurotaki a co-worker at her part-time job but she lacks the confidence to confess her feelings to him then she meets ikaru a glamorous but sharp-tongued fashionista who begrudgingly agrees to play fairy godmother for Haruka. However, there is more to Hikaru than meets the eye. These names are already very confusing, but yeah, I'm very excited to read that. It looks fun, and I believe this is a completed series with 12 volumes, so it's another really, really short one that I am hoping that I like because it will be really easy to collect. And with that, that is pretty much the end of my manga haul for the month of October. I am really, really excited about this manga haul. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more direction with how I want my manga collection to go, starting with this manga haul and other manga that I've been buying recently. But that's pretty much it. Whatever day you find yourself watching this, make it a great one and I will see you in my next video. Bye!